Okay, so Pi News episode 15, and uh, I'm using Raspberry Pi OS for this episode. I'll switch over to screen capture in a minute. Uh, my SSD at the bottom here, which I use Twister OS on, 120 gig drive, uh, has been my drive, my main operating system for quite a while, but uh, it crashed because I was messing about with RetroPi, and uh, I couldn't get it to recover. So I'm running just from this cheap 32 gig SSD. I'm running Raspberry Pi OS, and uh, let's switch over to screen capture. So I'm definitely going to reinstall Twister OS, my favorite operating system, and uh, I just tried to do it earlier on, uh, and I went to the download link, and I got this message. Sorry, you can't view or download this file at this time. Too many users have viewed or downloaded this file recently. Please try accessing the file again later. So uh, I have got a backup of an older version, and I'm sure the updates are working, so it's not a problem. But I suppose one thing to note is the popularity of Twister OS. It is an incredible operating system and uh, I, I definitely will keep using it. It's my favorite by a long shot. A couple of things I liked on Reddit. Uh, I always go through the Raspberry Pi stories on Reddit and see what builds and comments or anything like that. I just I just find it interesting. And this one, uh, so Galorius uh, had given this to his wife uh, and it's an old Mac that he got for free. And uh, he put a card in it basically. This is a Raspberry Pi 400 and uh, you put a card in it and that allows you to use the Mac as a monitor. It would actually run, so what was it, 2007 Mac? I think it would run Raspberry Pi OS quite well anyway natively, but um, I like the idea of this and uh, obviously uh, you know, people will be very pleased that it's running Linux. So you have to buy a specific driver board and there's a guide within that link. I'll put a link to this in here, but if I click on here, and I remember seeing and looking at this and never really doing it because I didn't think money-wise it worked out that well, but there's a lot of ways of doing this with laptops where you can use a laptop display as a monitor. You may have seen my uh, video capture uh, device videos, so my nine pound capture device, which works with pretty much everything. I did try it with iPad. I found a guy who was doing it, um, but he was using quite an expensive capture device. I thought I might have had all the tools to be able to do it, but I didn't have all the tools to be able to do it. I might look at it again in the future. But yeah, so you can have one of these. You need to make sure it's exactly the right Mac, but that guide that's linked tells you how to do that. So yeah, nice work. And I like this one. Uh, it's, it's, uh, it just looks cool, doesn't it? Uh, so you can see there's various different Raspberry Pis uh, put into a picture frame. And uh, yeah, I do like that. If I had a separate room for making my videos, I would probably do something the same uh, because I do think that looks cool. Okay, so next up, I'm nearly at 400 Raspberry Pi videos. You can see in this playlist, I've got 384 Raspberry Pi videos and uh, I do create quite a lot of Raspberry Pi videos. I'm not sure if I've created the most Raspberry Pi videos uh, out of everybody on YouTube but someone else will probably tell me that in the comments. Although I may be overtaken because I did a search for Raspberry Pi the other day um, and uh, I was just looking for stories and information and stuff like that. And what I generally do is change the filter. So I, I come, where am I here? There I am, Manjaro mate. Uh, so if I do it for uh, sort by upload date, there's a load of videos by the same guy. And uh, it looks like he have made, may have already made more than me. Uh, so 25 minutes ago, 33 minutes ago, 40 minutes ago, 42 minutes ago. Um, and they pretty much dominate. Uh, but they're genuine. It's, there's content in there. So uh, so fair play. But um, yeah, so I may not be the one. Well, let me know if, if, uh, if you know of someone who's created more specifically Raspberry Pi videos. I couldn't actually tell from this because I was, I was looking for a playlist to see how many he had in it. Um, but uh, but there wasn't there. But anyway, the more the merrier. At least it's more content for everybody else. So let's close those two down. Last one I wanted to cover, and I've, this this came out a while ago. Um, this Facebook post, and because I haven't done Raspberry Pi news for a while, I haven't mentioned it. But it is great. Uh, so Alexander from Berry Server, uh, he makes the custom OS images for Berry Boot, and uh, it's for me it's been a brilliant site i've i've used it so much over the time and uh you can see here so flame monk ubuntu is there for pi 4 we've got twister os for pi 4 uh if we skip down and and i find i did actually download there's a dreamcast um emulator in here but actually what it was it was providing an internet connection to a to a proper dreamcast so if you've got an actual same sega dreamcast you can get online by using pi 
with a piece of software that's on here. Um, so that was impressive. So you can go through that and you can have a look and you can search for a custom image, but you can also get a Berry test server and uh, you can add an image from there. So Raspberry Pi 4, downloading testing images. There you go, and there's some various images on here. So bang up to date. I haven't looked for a little bit, so I'm not gonna go through it now. It's a great way of trying things out, especially if you've only got one or two storage devices and you wanna try out multiple OSs. Uh, it's very, very handy. So great work, Alexander. After I finished editing the video, I managed to get Twister OS to download onto this 32 gig drive. So now I'm gonna write that to this 120 gig drive, which is the one I usually use for Twister OS, and I'll be back up and running. So let's open up Imager, so Accessories and Imager. Choose OS and Custom. Uh, mine's in my download folder, which it's already pointing to, so let's click on that. And this is 195. Uh, 196 is out and is excellent. I did a video on it the other day, um, but I'll be able to update that with the Twister OS updater, which is already installed. So let's hit Open. Choose my 120 gig card or SSD drive and hit Write and I'll be back up and running.